Welcome to the fifth and final uh, tutorial in my series, Getting Started with Seblod. In the series so far, we've created an online library for authors and the books that they publish. So we've created a content type for authors, a content type for books, and we've made an, a relationship between the two content types using live, um, using the Seblod live plugin and uh, a list module embedded in the author content type. So far though, we've been using the SEB1 template, which is a great template for beginners because it gives you 42 different positions to put fields in and will um, display the fields in um, you know, whichever position that you publish them in. But the problem with it is that that simplicity comes with um, a lot of nested divs. So if you have a look in um, Firebug, you can see that all of these divs um, that the fields get wrapped in. And for some people, you might not want to have all of that going on um, in the background. So today we're going to look at how to create a custom template with less clutter um, and giving you more manual control over your template using um, just a little bit of PHP um, and some excellent variables that Seblod has uh, uh, built into it. Um, to, as a starting point, though, we're going to use um, a template um, a kind of a template framework, a simple template that has been created by Simon Dowdles of the Seblod community. And uh, to get to that um, template, just go to the URL that's on your screen at the moment, or you can go to the Seblod forums and search for uh, SD Simple Simon, and you should get uh, the post where you can log in and download um, the template. Once you've downloaded the Simple Simon template, go into your Joomla. Um, back end and go to the template manager, the usual um, Joomla template manager, sorry, uh, go to the extension manager and install the template. Now, once you've installed the template into Joomla, go into Seblod and go into the Seblod templates manager and click new and select the Simple Simon template from this drop-down list and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Simple Template. And leave the type as content slash form. And click Save and Close. Okay, now we can go into our form and content type and we're going to go into our author content type and we're going to select the uh, Simon Simon's template as our uh, template for our content view. This is the view in the front end. So if we go to the template options, we can select the simple Simon template from the drop down list. And we can see now that we don't have all the positions that we had in the SEB1 template. We've only got four positions. Um, so this is already reducing some of the clutter that we have in the SEB1 template. And we can see that all of our fields are carried across. So they're all published in the main body field. I mean, in the main body position. So click save. So now if we go to our page and refresh it, we now have no uh, templating layout anymore because um, the Simon template hasn't, it's just a, a completely kind of bare bones framework template. Uh, so we need to now style this uh, template with some HTML and PHP. And that's what the, uh, the bulk of this tutorial is about. So if we go into our templates folder in Joomla, we can see the template SD Simple Simon template there. And we want to create some position overrides. Now the way that uh, Seblod uh, allows you to do position overrides is by um, mimicking a certain file structure for the type of uh, view that you want to template. For example, if you want to um, template this content view in our, um, our content type author, what we need to do is we need to go into the positions folder in the Simon template, create a new folder, which has the same name as the alias of our content type, which is author. And you can, if you're unsure about this, just go into the form and content type manager and look at what this alias is here. So for us, it's author. And then in there, create another folder called content. Create a PHP file called mainbody.php. So in 
our main body.php file, we want to start it off with our um, no direct access text at the top, like you can see there, you can just copy that. And once we've saved it, we go into the front end of our website and look at our content page, which now has no fields published on it. That's because we've got a main body position override um, template um, file, which has no fields called in it. So we're going to write some simple PHP to call our first field. And it looks a little something like this. And here is where we put in our field name, which for us is going to be auth description. Okay, and if you're unsure about how to get the field name, this should be a no caps, no spaces field name, which you get here in Seblod. Not the title, the name of the field. So now if we save our mainbody.php um, file and refresh the front end, the value um, comes up. So what we've done there is we've used the render field command. And what that does is it takes the field out of Seblod and renders it with all of the settings that we've applied to it. So if we, for example, go into Seblod and make this description field have a link on it or change the typography on it, say for example, we make it bold and save it, then it'll take all of those um, options that we've set in Seblod and reflect them in the fields um, on our website. But let's just say that we want to override and bypass all of those um, settings that we've put in Seblod. Okay, so let's keep that bold and um, we'll use a different command. So instead of render field, what we're going to use is get value. And instead, that's just going to get the text that's stored in the database. So you can see that even though in Seblod I've got the typo um, typography set to bold, it's coming up as regular text. Now this get value can be used in um, there's a, there's a couple of other different ways that you can use it. Um, I mean, the get command rather than get value, you can also use get name, which will just render the name of the field or you can use get label or you can use things like get link which if the if the field has a link applied to it let's just do that now let's say we want to link auth description to I don't know you would never do this but the home page or content loaded in the home page then it would create a um, get the text for a link. So then you could then say wrap that in um, an ahref HTML and that would render as a link to the home page or back to my content page rather. Anyway. So there's some basics there about how to get the fields. So let's just stick with the render field um, command at the moment. And let's just render the rest of our fields quickly. Okay, so one thing you'll notice now is that our image field isn't appearing anymore. So what we'll do with that is we'll add it into the top body position. Um, and once we add it, and refresh our page, it still won't be there. Or it'll be there, but it, it won't be um, styled in the right place that we put it because we it's now in a different position and we need a different PHP file to um, style where it is. So everything else was published in the main body position, so it at mainbody.php. So we'll copy that, and we'll, but for this one, we'll call it top body because that's the name of the position in Seblod. And for that, we get rid of all this other stuff and we use the auth image field name. Sorry. And we'll just give this a span. That's the 
class there. And I'm just going to put in a div class here as well. This is really messy, so sorry about that. I hope you write better code than I do. So now that floats on the on the right hand side there. So that's great. So for images, um, like we had the get value for um, other fields, but for this we can also use get thumb one to get the thumbnail. Um, the directory, sorry, for the thumbnail one image that we uploaded. So if you remember back to a previous tutorial on image upload fields, you can select different parameters for different thumbnails. So say we had here, um, uh, you know, a stretched image or a slightly cropped um, smaller image or whatever, we can use that to, um, that command to get each individual thumbnail that we want. Uh, but you then you need to render it I mean, wrap it in some um, image tags. And um, you might want to add the alt property. Well, not you might want to, you should add the alt property. And for that, we can use the name of the field. Or we could use get, what do we want? Get value of the title. And then we just need to make sure that we add in the title field. Now we can see the alt text there, which is printed by our, um, our PHP. So that should give you a little bit to get started with your Seblod templating. Um, as always, if you have any questions, if you want me to elaborate on anything, please don't hesitate to get in contact with me uh, through the comments below or on Twitter at underscore JRMO. Um, this concludes the Getting Started with Seblod series and next week I'm going to be um, starting a new series um, for intermediates and building on the knowledge that we've created here. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Please share, um, please contribute to the Seblod community by participating in the forums. Thanks.